What is up, guys? Donald here. Coming to you another episode of the ECW Mod from our Total War. Where we left it off, we, uh, of course, defeated this uh, army in what is northern Virginia. Nah, not northern Virginia. Western Virginia, and they retreated over here into Kentucky. Uh, after decimating this one, two episodes ago, we were pulling back since this Ohio volunteer is trying to strike Kentucky or maybe Fort Sanders. Uh, when these guys get outfitted with new artillery coming from Mississippi, they will strike out, uh, destroy these guys here, and move up to Cumberland Gap into New York. Over here, these guys are waiting one parrot gun from Jackson and some infantry here, but I will push out with the new infantry when it gets uh, settled in. We uh, also destroyed the men blockading our way to Chicago who were raiding our trade here. Wrecked them pretty bad. And, uh, when is Little Rock going to be ready? Let me just look. Baton Rouge. So we still got sub growing down here. Um, over here in Virginia, we've almost, 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 almost got all the men, well, Whitworth's almost being made. Uh, Stonewall Jackson is holding here, and when this army down south gets reorganized, they're going to be marching north. Be, we'll arm them with some better artillery, maybe uh, some Napoleons for now, just give them some Napoleons, and they're going to strike into the north. So my battle plan is Lee strikes with his Whitworths, uh, Stonewall uh, comes in for reinforcing. Well, Stonewall strikes these guys, draws these men out, and when they're weak, Lee attacks, destroys these guys, and my other army pushes past them all and flanks around and hit Philadelphia. Meanwhile, in Kentucky, these men are going to come up and start attacking New York. These guys over here will be reformed and strike in, try and capture Michigan and Ohio. And when these guys are done with the West, they are going to be taken down. I'm going to send them back down to uh, San Antonio, take them by ship land them in what will be captured by Philadelphia and push them up there and this newly formed army is going to capture Cuba uh, which is going to be almost done let's see when will it be done it'll be done in three turns shit that's actually someone didn't account for it needs artillery where is the nearest place to get some good artillery from definitely not from here Damn, we're gonna need to ship some artillery down here. What kind of force does Cuba have? I thought they had an army. Apparently they don't. Oh well. If not, I'll just I'll give them some six pounders if I have to. Um, actually, I could build some while I'm here, but I have no money right now. All right, so let's end the turn. So, um, I hope to see you on this channel. Uh, I recorded some Armor 3 yesterday when we were playing it. It's pretty funny, uh, so you guys should go ahead and watch that. Fucking goddamn it. Uh, let's see. We're going to decline that. Uh, Union blockaded another one of my damn ports. Uh, we're going to have to force them out of that one. Well, at least we know their navy's on the move now, so. So you Tampa on June 30th, a Union gunboat appears in Tampa Bay, Florida. Turns her broadside to the face of town, opens her gun ports. The gunboat and dispatched a launch carrying 20 men and a lieutenant under flag of truce to many and surrender. Confederates refused and gunboat fires a salvo. Tampa authorities are informed that the shine would commence at 6 p.m. that evening. The following time to evacuate non combatants from Tampa. Firing duly commences and continues sporadically into the following afternoon when the federal gunboat finally withdraws. Okay, so bombarding Tampa. My timeline, that's definitely not happening. So now, uh, and I remember what I was doing. So Braxton Braggs is going to command this army, and Johnston is going to command this army. For those of you don't know what I was doing, Third Ar well, Third Arkansas is moving up here to be sent in Lee's war. army because I really would like to make his army historical. Two turns from now we will be getting troops to 
Only enforcer group there. What did, what did Claiborne do? Hardy's core of the Army of the Tennessee. So he was a guy in Tennessee, but Braxton Braggs was also there. I'm trying to find an army command up here. What about Forrest? I don't really know about Forrest, so you know what? I'm just gonna we're trying to recruit Forrest and send him up here. Um nothing much we can do here for now. Is this done? It is, so we can get this governor's residence recruited up even higher. 15th Arkansas. Napoleon de Grey, or Company D, Napoleon Grays. Alright, so up here, we have got all our troops assigned together. And when they are at full strength, we will charge into this horde and try and defeat them. Where is this gun at? This gun actually has arrived today. Let's get some improved rails going on in here. And it is time now, actually. We take everyone but the Napoleon gun because we don't need it anymore. No way. And we are going to uh, push an attack. We will recruit a unit of these guys to help suppress any you know, resentment. Even though they should be happy, we'll exempt. And now uh, we should be able to. Good. That's that's 1K. I don't want that going down to the gutters. Uh, let's get. Oklahoma City upgraded. Get these farms upgraded. As the South, I really don't have to worry about an infrastructure, though. I do have one. These guys are, uh, next turn will probably be 100% secessionist. And these guys are still not 100% secessionist. So I will not burn out of public publishing houses until they're fully secessionist. Ready for action. Uh. You know what? Let's attack these guys. The Auto resolve. Lost 19. They lost Orders a good amount of men. And we're still sending Change them back. Uh, over here in Tennessee. We have a shitload of troops being recruited. Uh, I guess we could actually make a second army out of these guys. Hello. I'm going to send these Florida volunteers back down to Florida. And, um, help with the invasion of Cuba so that's what's gonna be happening there so uh, so far just troop movements going around um, Robert E. Lee is actually at full strength nice. Armstead's brigade and everything looking nice this is what we need to do I need to pop you out Waiting instructions. I need you to come over to here Your instructions. I need you to go over to here and I could pop out with Robert E. Lee attack somebody but ooh Do they have any cab in this army? they don't but these guys just went through hell I could pop these guys out, pop these guys back in but I wouldn't be able to attack so no, no battle gonna happen here sadly Let's get a uh, fourth rate up here while we're at it. And, uh, so yeah, we, we've got guys being stored over here until my other army comes up to take some of the guys. Um, still cannot make a Whitworth. That'll be three more turns from now. Uh, Greg's Brigade. Another mission? No one. So uh, start forcing marching our way up. Um, do I have any troops I could send? Can I move these guys out? Nah, I couldn't. How about you? No, couldn't either. Yeah, we need to send someone in here. To knock these guys out. Oh, they're, they're still happy. Okay, I'll, I'll build the capital here. The state capital thing. Just that they stay happy. Uh, is there any infrastructure that needs to be upgraded? Yeah, you need it. You don't need it. You definitely need it. And um, now it looks like we're all good on infrastructure. Now, 
one of the things I need is for troop movement to be able to happen pretty nicely. Alright, they'll be ready soon. Uh, with that, also my other money, I was going to build some already down here. Uh, I think Napoleons would do. We'll just get some Napoleons made up. And, um, send them down with them. That's all we really need. How are they on Cav? They need some good Cav. Mountain infantry. So these guys are just infantry that can be moved around. It's not what I want. I mean, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll recruit two units of you. Well, one of you and one of you. Send you over here. Alright, so... Really, we can't attack anyone. We're just right now moving around troops. So let's go ahead and end the turn one more time. Alright, so. <sighs> Union's just moving the troops around, filling around with that. Mexico just moving around. Good, good, good. Georgetown. Yes, I know it's being blockaded by the damn Union. Sons of bitches. I like that painting, though. Union taxes tobacco. Well, you know what? I have a lot of tobacco, and damn, the union is not getting a single bit of my tobacco. Let me tell you them that. Okay, so now, basically, it is early July of 1862, and I would really like to invade the north around August, September, at least, as the latest. Good, good, good. Good, very good. Very, very good indeed. Alright, so, uh, first, let me get my troops sorted out over here, so, they're almost done, these Thomasville Suaves need to move up to this army as well, let's get them moved up, alright, so, these guys, alright, so let's do some troop moving around, okay, we need to do some of that, so I will be right back when I'm done moving that around, I will... Uh, do this off camera so I don't have to bore you guys. I'll be right back though. Alright guys, I'm back. So, I think I sorted out these men uh, pretty good. So, over here in Stonewall Jackson's army, I put in the Potomac Guards. 33rd Virginia Potomac Guards. And the 25th VA because I read about them. They were in Jackson's Valley campaign. Um, the VMI and a lot of Virginia volunteers are in here. So I have name. I anybody have any names for them? Send them down. But these armies may look forward to you guys. But remember, some of these line here are gonna have to be dropped off in like Maryland and in like New York and all to quell any riots or anything. So I can keep moving. So after a while, men are just gonna be left behind to hold and garrison. So that's why I have so many troops. I still have men coming, like the Thomas Zwabs going over here to give these guys some skirms. And still need room for artillery and all. But, like, this army here is going to garrison uh, troops in D.C. And then I'm going to send some, like, you know how it is, like that kind of stuff. So I have 52,000. Don't know what this British Navy is doing here, but they've got an ironclad frigate. Indian man is armed merchant ship. So your ironclad frigate. I mean, I would so badly want to see an ironclad in battle. But um, not not gonna be seeing it anytime soon. Uh, over here in Kentucky, you guys are still pouring Sell back over to here. Ready for action. Arkansas volunteers. Forward for crown. Country. Braxton Bragg is heading to here. Johnston is heading to here. He's just sitting in that fort for a little bit. And how far off are those parrot guns being made? Next turn they'll be made. Uh, Alright guys, so you know, we've been waiting a little too long in my taste, so let's get a battle on our hand. Quick save. 
Actually, this isn't even worth fighting. We are Damn. victorious. Another mission. Actually, I should look at my deaths and all. Oh, well, I'll pause the video and look back. Cause at the end of the series, I want to do like a death count: how many the unions lost, how many have I lost. So. Stealth right. is my shield. Let's just see how many they lost. Well, these guys lost none, actually. And she had some veterans he gained. All right. Uh, let's see, can I send my cav forward? I'd send my cav as a scout. Nope. They can't see. Can this cav see anymore? They cannot. So, I'm just going to send these guys as like a drawing force when I end the turn here. And uh, actually, but before I do, now nah, they're already, they're both replenishing. So we're driving hard up here, and actually, you know what? But these guys, oh buddy, these guys, let me tell you, they're actually ready to fight. They got some new troops. Let's get a battle started over here. This is where the battle's gonna be today, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're just real quick, we'll quick save. Yes, overwrite the file. See, what are we facing up against? So we have some Vedette Cavalry, uh, low amount of troops, and we have a ton of men coming in 2,000 against, ooh, yeah, maybe, yeah, around the same, except they don't have artillery, so we can win. So let's go ahead and fight this. 18 now, I believe, and I, it's just a grind right now so much momentum in like the first episodes when like we when we captured chicago and kansas it said like we won and everything but i decided we gotta keep the campaign going we gotta unite the entire united states but um it was just we had so much just pile into new york and i mean not new york uh virginia and the carolinas and all and it's just like holy shit we can't do this no, this this map doesn't even look recognizable. I've like tried to fight this battle three times and crashed. But it does, like I've always fought with the snow. It doesn't look recognizable anymore. But it now it does. I want to try and get like um, a battery over to here. I'm gonna split my troops up. So I know the main force is gonna try and get over here, and the other force is gonna try and mop its way over to here. So I'm trying to move. Men up over here. Let's get all my Mississippi volunteers gathered up. They're gonna be put on this flank, and then I'm going to group up. That's two, four, five men. Two, four, six men that'll be forming up over here. So around roughly the same amount of men forming up on both sides. And my battery over here. Cav, I'm just going to set you in the center. I don't know where you're going to be moving around to. Let us end deployment. We will get you moving over to here. We will get uh, this gun right here to move to right there. We will get... You, you, and you, moving up to right here. We will get you to right there, and we will move these guys to right here, because we got we got a lot of men actually over here. Never mind, they're not deploying the way I thought they would deploy. Look at all these like depleted units coming in here. This look at this, this is like a reenactor's line. Look how desperate the union is now. I mean, they've got some uh good you like these Missouri volunteers. Which I I think they look nice. Have some men left in them, but nothing to be impressed about. 
So let's get my men marching up to there. And we'll get my artillery to right there. My cab right here is a scout. We're gonna press the little fast forward clicker. So we have these Illinois and the Scottish guys. I don't know, they're pulling back. Usually the army you attack will pull back to the back. And then look at all these Wisconsin volunteers. Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana. Now, if I kill all these Illinois and Wisconsin volunteers, like I run them all down and they all die. I won't have to worry about them anymore. Because once they're all dead, they're all dead. They can't come back. They're gone for good. So, I don't know how many men they're bringing in, though. I think they've hit around 20 stack, possibly. I don't know. Let's see. They got two units of a debt. Cav. One unit of Missouri. One of them. One of them. So, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Around that's where's the Scottish line at? Okay, so they got around 15 men on the battle map. Oh, we got some more men coming over from over here. Are these Wisconsin, so they got 16 men. So it's 16 v. Sixteen men, well, sixteen stack versus my twelve stack. So we're gonna have to see how this works out. Um, right now, it's just troop moving. So even with fast forwarding, nothing's really happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause the video and I will be right back when action starts happening. All right, guys, we are back and the Union are now trying to assault our position. But, sadly, it is going to be in vain, for they have no artillery, and I do. So, yeah, let's, uh, keep, I'm just going to keep it on fast forward now, but I will let you, just, I'll let you guys see what I've done so far, so. I basically, I'm drawing their troops towards me, but I'm going to need to pull this cab back now. I'm going to draw their troops right here to me. Oh shit. Actually. Oh fuck. Oh god. Nuts. No, you come over to here. You to there. You start coming back. Where is that, my artillery at? Okay, it's back there. Where where the heck did you go? Christ's sakes. I didn't tell you you could run. How did I ever tell you you could run? Damn. They're, they just like volleyed off and kept moving. Some true civil war shit right there. Alright, so let's uh, hit the play button. So the battle is raging on something fierce right now. Let's hit these guys now. We've got these guys in a full blown route. And we've got men over here routing. So let's pull my cab around behind these troops. See if we can start routing even more. Come on. Come on, you can route these poor guys. Christ's sake. One volley into them, that'll route them. Watch this volley, guys. This this will do it. Watch him drop. Okay, they didn't drop like I expected them to, but they're still gonna drop. Another volley should do it. Okay, you need a hold. Gonna set you up like this. You let them snipe you that bad, you bastards. I need to get this gun in the position right here to aid in the 
defense. This. What the hell? Why? What? Okay. All right, let them do what they gotta do. I'm limber. Let's get some round shot coming in down here. So right now we got Vedette Cavalry running all over the show. Uh, these men almost ratted, but they came back. So now it's right now a mosh pit of uh, can we kill the enemy fastest. So far it's doing good. We're going to uh, cut these routing units down while we're at it. See if we can hit these guys and these guys fully destroy them. If I kill Missouri volunteers where they can't come back, so that's a even plus. We're uh, going to send these guys over towards this way. But we're going to leave these men where they are. Oh, that's wonderful. That is great right there. Damn, they, they put it on them. And so let's hit these Wisconsin volunteers right here. All right, you know what to do. Hit them. And a small on fire from who? They got their guns every which way. Sorry, I like to hear the charge. You gotta be kidding me. I just I just hit the run button once and you're already tired. Oh, run them down. As soon as we get these two guys ran down, we're all move up. Oh my god, look at these. Look at these Wisconsin monsters. They, with their hardy hats and all, they're like, you know what? We're ready. We're ready to fight you. They don't know who to fight right now. I'll tell you who to fight. Aren't these guys shooting? There we go. That should at least give them something to shoot at. They say you're shooting at them and no one else. Alright, uh. Hit this mountain infantry. How are we doing over here on these guys? It's wonderful. Beautiful. Right, can we get over there, please? I think 17. 17 is not coming back. We'll hit these guys and we'll turn around and try and get this uh, Missouri Volunteer Unit. And maybe this uh, Indiana Volunteer Unit. I really want to cut down this Missouri volunteer unit at least so it won't come back. Because once it's dead, it's dead. They, they won't be able to recruit it. And same with the Wisconsin volunteers and the Illinois. Those are prime targets. Where are these guys forming up at? Damn, you really got fucked up. Alright, you know, you pull over this way. We are taking some heavy losses against these guys, but... Charles the Scottish Regiment is going to get their anus wrecked. Looks like... Kills. So looks like they're not shooting at all. Oh yeah, they're definitely done. Okay, pull back over. I'm gonna need to outfit this guy, these guys, with some more cav. All right, I'm gonna start slamming into this Missouri unit right here. That'll be a good target to hit. If I can kill those guys and these Wisconsin. Indiana Volunteers I am not worried about at the moment, it's Illinois and the Wisconsin Volunteers I'm worried about. So, uh, let's reform the line here. Run into position. It's Indiana, and that's Indiana. Uh, Scottish Regiment is now routed. Let's, um, see if we can hit this Wisconsin unit. Get one good volley out of you. No. Let's 
So, uh, let's get you guys right here. No, not over like that. Wow. You don't, you don't want to form up here, do you? Like, really. Don't be lazy. Come on. Before I tell you to. I would have slammed at these guys, man. These Missouri volunteers are gonna... Might just get away. If they can do as well as they can with... Um, Alright, so this will be right all those troops there. I'm gonna try and hit these guys over here. Let's uh, get these men over to here now. See if they can help. Wow, it's right now just really an infantry slug. Unless they get in range of my men. And it's not an infantry slug out, but... Keep on them. Then we'll come over here and hit these guys. And then we'll turn around and hit the Missouri volunteers before they get away. Keep on them. I want to see at least 12. I can let 12 get away. Alright, 19, I think. 19's not coming back. We need to, we need to engage them. So let us. If you call the charge last minute, you actually get more kills. So. Damn. These guys are really laying it down on them. Let's see. Alright, nail them. Uh, you need to bombard these guys, actually. Alright, they're routed. Uh, hit these guys now. Alright. If you could run into position, and if you guys could run into position, that would be spectacular. This is the last unit that has not routed yet. How are we doing on the Illinois? Uh, got them down to a substantial amount. Who's out here? Alright, turn around and come after these guys. I think you, uh, get enough of them. Actually, hit these guys. That's a pretty strong unit. Even if they're not guys I'm really looking forward to killing. Still kill him though. Over here, my infantry is moving into position to deal the final blow. Um, right here, Wisconsin. I need to go after those guys here. See, these guys being in position, they will. They actually might be able to get some a couple shots off on them. Keep on them. This is the only real use in this mod cavalry has is running down men. Uh, if you use them to charge guns or anything, that's either you're a maniac and you like to see things die and you don't care about your troops, or you just like to watch things get absolutely wrecked. Alright, we need to uh, move over here now. Let's just kill a couple more. That's good. I said, if I leave like down the 40 or whatever, it's not gonna really matter. They're gonna die anyways. But I really want to hit this unit because the routing line is coming up on them, and they've got uh, 130 men. All right, so this one time is getting dire now. Uh, I need to run down all four of these units to completely get them out of here for good. They will never be a problem for me again. This Indiana, no, these are actually Indiana guys. Never mind. Really worry about them. And these guys, whew, man, they're getting gunned down pretty bad. Alright, can we uh, keep moving here? Wonderful. 
Alright, so really it's just going to be running down troops, so I will meet you guys when I'm done. I will be right back. Alright guys, and we are back, and look at the amount of men we killed. Uh, it was, they still outnumbered us. Um, we decimated their troops. Uh, 659 remaining. Uh, so it looks like I took some of the friendly fire, not a lot. 800 men slaughtered by my Confederate cavalry. Beautiful. Uh, artillery, my Napoleon got 70 men. And my Washington killed 152. So they did pretty good. Uh, so we'll just watch like, a ton of armies just drop right now. Alright, so I need to make sure that none of the Illinois or Wisconsin troops survived. That's what I'm here to make sure of. So the first Irish show. Still kicking. Keystone Suaves. Alright, so. Alright, so some Missouri volunteers got away. Not a lot, but some. And not a single unit of. Uh, Illinois, Wisconsin volunteers made it. And they will not ever make it again. We are going to hit these first Irish. And we are going to plow right into uh, Michigan. That is going to be our main objective. Something that we are going to be able to achieve. Up here. Uh, men are just sitting around. Uh, we're still moving around over here. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, we're just going to make you a state house. What does that give me? Nothing special. But you know what? I have the money to do it. Uh, before I spend all my cash, one thing I'm going to need to do is replenish all my troops here. Uh, let's get this upgraded right here. My infrastructure is doing pretty well, I gotta say. This is um, one from being maxed. This is one from being ma uh, two from being maxed. Um, yeah, let's uh, end the turn. We have a surplus of cash, actually. Um, I'm in a spending mood, so why not? If we got buildings that need to be built, why not build them? Let's build every building that we can possibly build. Any other buildings that need to be built? Yeah. Let's check. You need to be built. And... Wow. Yeah, we basically... Up upgraded all our infrastructure except for like a couple out here in texas so yeah we're doing pretty good on that kind of stuff um this actually how much are you producing 11k so a lot uh when are you gonna be done nine turns from now and when are this gonna be done two turns from now all right so let's end the turn again let's see what the union tries to throw at us so they're still pulling men up to new york probably to send them out to Ohio to defend against my own slot. Looks like they got another big army ready to come down to me. They want military access for 49k. I don't want to know how that. Uh, well, 4,900. I have money. I'm. I have the. I have the money. Okay, I have the cash. Dix Hill Cartel. In the very beginning, Civil War prisoners were exchanged. Right on the battlefield, a private for a private, a sergeant for a sergeant, and a captain for a captain. 1862 system broke down and caused the creation of large holding pens. Prisoners in the both north and south. July 18, 1862, Major General John A. Dix of the Union Army met with Confederate Representative Major General Daniel H. Hill. A cartel was drafted, providing the parole for an exchange of prisoners. The draft was submitted and approved by a superiors. Four days later, the cartel was formally signed and ratified. It became known as the Dix Hill Cartel. Dix Hill Cartel failed by mid-year for reasons including the refusal of the confederate government to exchange of parole black prisoners they threatened to treat black prisoners as slaves and to execute their white officers 
There was also the problem of prisoners returning too, too soon to the battlefield. When Vicksburg surrendered on July 4th, most of those Confederate prisoners were paroled and were back in the trenches within a week. Discussions of exchange lasted until October 23, when Secretary of War Edwin M. Stanton, let me just stop that there, Edwin M. Stanton directs that all commanders of places of confinement be notified that there will be no more exchanges. This, this decision greatly affects the large numbers of prisoners in the northern and southern prison camps. The so-called holding pens now became permanent prisons. So we're now in late July of 1862. Trait gained. That's some guy in my government. Christopher Memminger. No sense of shame. One plus happiness to citizens. Shit ton of men recruited. Alright, so. Let's see. This is where most of the men got recruited, so. We're gonna send. One of you, and we're gonna send you up here to Chicago. It's a. Let's build you. Let's get these guys together. And we'll move them. Let's see. No one will know. What is defending here? Yes, sir. Actually, not a lot. Let's see, demand surrender. Surrender refused. Uh, quick save. Um. Uh, you know what? We're going to continue the they siege there, and we'll pick up the next part. Over here. Prize money. Auto resolve, slaughter them all. Your eyes and ears. Keep moving. Discretion is guaranteed. And we're gonna push and try and take uh, Michigan. So not a lot of men. I think most of the men are gonna try and regroup somewhere. Probably right here is where they're mostly regrouping. Um Hello. Changing position. Over here we're gonna get that army rebuilt up. Ready to go soon. This army is still sitting here. Uh, Orders. This army is still sitting here. This Orders. army will be still sitting here for a good while. Ready for Thomasville action. Suaves, you know where Forward you need to go. What is this? It's Johnston. March. Yes. We need to pop someone out, aren't we? Uh, we'll send out the Vidette Cav. Facts are my Orders. currency. Still ship shape. Take ready. Alright, so it's basically a full stack army. All they're missing is the artillery. Uh, Arkansas boys you need to move in the Virginia, I should say. And we have some Kavanaugh recruited for this army up Facts here. Are my currency. And damn if I did Aye, it wrong. Sir. Actually, you know what? I'll send this cab down here. And I will. Damn, I'm gonna have to disband you. I actually did not mean to recruit you at all. And we'll send you over here to aid with that army. I know you guys already know where you're going. Got a lot of troops right here. Shitload of them. And we will start sending you guys uh, south to Florida to. Help when, with this army. Confederate conscripts. When the hell could I get these guys? Oh my God, these guys were are so needed right now. Or I can't. So I couldn't ever recruit them here. Could I? No, I couldn't. About right here. No, but down south I can recruit Confederate conscripts. Let's get a ton of you guys. Florida, you're gonna pump out every Confederate conscript you can. If I would have known I would have had conscripts, I could have made an entire army of Confederate conscripts. Man, conscript infantry, this is going to be great. I can send this entire group of conscript infantry north. That's, that's, that's half an army right there. Hell. That's an entire fighting force of men. Get these sharpshooters as well. Alright, so. What do 
anything you require. These guys are heading this way. Ready for action. Uh, we're gonna disband you. Vedette cavalry is no longer gonna be needed, and you two, Watch you guys, it. are gonna be separated out. Where's that army in Kentucky? Changing position. All right, so control A. Put you in there. March. Send you there. Ships orders. What do you require? See, let's uh, send you down here to Florida. Um, these guys need artillery, and the best artillery we can give them now is. Actually, don't recruit those. I just send uh, artillery down here to Florida. Okay, good. Orders. These guys are looking good. Uh, when they get that, Nelson needs some more cav. Actually, it's gonna take forever to get here, but. Onward. Actually, three turns. Yeah, that, that can actually make do. Steam engine factory. Good lord. Man, are the times changing. All right, you guys are fully secessionist, so we will burn this down. And then we will make this uh, something that will help production and all. Give us some moolah. You know what I mean? Weaver's Cottage. Weaver's Cottage. Well, Pleasure Gardens. Why not? Cotton. And that is our entire infrastructure, except for Kansas, built up. Okay, how long until Kansas is pro secessionist? Um, okay, so we're besieging over there, looking good over there. Who's the commander? Burnside. Alright, um, doing good right there. Alright guys, so I'm going to have to wrap the part up here. Uh, so, next episode, uh, when my forces finally get reorganized, uh, my men are all going to get set up, and we are just going to push all our forces as fast as we can. We're going to blitz into the north. We're going to send two armies. One army is going to try and hit New York. Uh, West New York, one's going to hit Central New York, one's going to hit D.C., one's going to knock out this army. And then another one. So this army here is going to smash in here. This army is going to smash in here. This army is going to smash in here. This army is going to smash into here. E Robert E. Lee is going to take uh, D.C. And we're just going to push as fast as we can. Try and cap Philadelphia. And then see if we can capture all of this. They recaptured East New York, which I'd like to see. That's pretty good. Um, now they need to recapture Michigan. So we need to now um, push and try and see if we can get a border like so. And if we can at least capture Central New York and Philadelphia, we've split the United States again. Even if we capture, if we capture Michigan, we're in a better spot. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And this is Dominic signing out. I'll see you all in the next one.